Inspector Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. Okay, what? What are you talking about, Pritchard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. <laughs> but that's like offset of it. You know about the little surprise I left with your body polluter friends at the plant? They died, choking in their own lungs, courtesy of my little dispersal unit. Okay. That guy is going down. Ah, that that guy. I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sick is bad. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on a gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or to leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Thank you for <laughs> joining. Jensen! How can I help you, Francis? You know why I'm contacting you. The transmission that's making a mockery of your security efforts? It's keeping a back door open into our network. None of us are secure unless you find the antenna that's sending it and shut it down. For you, anything. Yeah. Right here. Do we have a ladder? Yes, we have a ladder. No parkour. Oh no. So I wonder, can I actually gather those bombs? Or rather mines, like... Okay, no. Shit. Fuck a ray. You better stay running, asshole. That seems like a mobile mobile phone tower. And now we have actual actually the No we don't have a code. So what's the code for? Okay, let's let's hack this. Access grant. Boss, is that back door still open? No, good job. Frank just sent me the all clear. Now it's time to find the bastards who attacked us. Farina, are you standing by? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Stay close to the antenna. Pritchard sent me the coordinates for it. I'm coming to pick you up. There's landing pad. If it crooked. It's here. Okay. We get get right.
Mr. Jensen, your limo has arrived. You ready to leave? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Great. let's go. Detroit local. This is Sarah Industries Bravo Echo Echo 008. Continuing on. Richard, you got coordinates on that factory yet? I was only able to pinpoint an approximate area, Jensen. So scout around and look for anything unusual. I'll keep monitoring the frequency in case it suddenly goes active. Yo. What's good, man? You looking for some new toys? I can make you a good deal. Might be a good idea to stock up. What do you have? Shit, son. We got some hot items right now. Check it out. What you need? One cra cra gas and one EMP grenade. So... Uh, leading software upgrade. Well, I'm so poor at shooting, so this would be like really great idea. Also, EMP grenade. Very useful. I'll take a grenade So back. this this is good not... Good choice, a, son. This is Anything good else? purchase here. Good idea. Here you go, son. Anything else? I could use some more ammo. I could use some information. I could tell you some shit for sure. What you want to know? You guys seen anything suspicious going down around here? Suspicious ain't the word, man. All types of caravans moving in and out of here. They're going all out. Who is they? Well, that's the problem. These motherfuckers ain't consistent, for real. The feds were buying up all the land from the textile manufacturers until about a month ago. That's when some started going down in this bitch. Something real. What'd you call it before? Suspicious. Word, suspicious. Something real suspicious started happening. These spec ops moved into the factory and started running some sort of major operation. They picked off my brother for trying to set up shop in the area. Rest in peace, Big Rizzle. Yeah, rip. These spec ops still around? Yeah, no doubt. They got a patrol unit in the courtyard, and they got snipers on the roof and shit. Thing is, I saw some government vans lurking around, so it looks like they be moving their party somewhere else and making way for the feds once again. Thanks. All good. Anything else? I'm good for now. Thanks for the offer. All good, son. Peace. And watch your back. Got to see you time. Was supposed to Two have of that them. Three down. of them. But somebody got to the corpse before we did. We can still reconfigure. Track this Yahoo down. It's too late for that. It's time to clean up. But what about the Dutchman? No loose ends, Barrett. Dutchman. I'll make the call. Get out of sight, now. Why, what's going on? They're here. The mercs who killed Megan and her team. Fuck! I'm going in. Okay, and it... it got to the... I think the hitbox was too... too big. With that. That guy. 
Okay, now we got free revolver. Which is actually quite useful. I can get the, uh, up there with those. Age here, so there's two of them. Yeah, this is like, don't you start fighting in this place kind of level. <laughs> nasty, very nasty. He got alarmed, not not everyone else. So let's see if he go. He's going down. Do I miss all the time? Apparently yes. So, uh, smoking kills. That guy took like huge amount of medicine to go down. Okay. Now we are fine. I just need to use the sniper tactic. And I'm not too sure what happened but I like had to shoot that guy like three times maybe it's like depending on the range my inventory is full once again so okay okay the revolver is actually taking a lot of space but I think I have a like some use for it even if I'm going to play pacifist or mostly pacifist. This doesn't look like a pacifist, so... Laser targeting system, combat rifle, ammo... What else? Pocket secretary, because people always write down their secrets. Coffins. Beam and coffins. Washington State Capitol on Olympia. Bomb. Oh no. going to save before we start jumping around. Okay, come on. Maybe 
I'm just being a Berlin stupid here. So let's let's move move this here and this here, and then I ca can actually walk to the switch to turn this thing off. Let's make a service to all mankind. Oh. Two hundred credits. Way to reward, reward people. Yeah. I wonder if I'm, I would drag the guys here and turn the electricity back on. That would be like environmental kill, but not really my fault. Yeah, that that would sound like a evil. I don't want to be a evil guy. So what do we have now? We have a laser targeting system which we can combine with the with the revolver here. Now we we are going to free some space from the inventory, but also it might got handy. shoot him through here. Okay, apparently not. But I would like to know. He's pretty close. Yritän, yritän tässä pelata pasifistisesti, mutta huonosti se onnistuu. Ah, täällä on taas hirveäkäs. Richard, patch me to Sarah. We may have a problem here. Wonderful. Adam, talk to me. This factory, where the hacker's signal originated, it's got FEMA signs all over it. I think it's some kind of internment camp. FEMA? That's impossible. Half of our contracts are government issue. I know. But the soldiers who attacked us are here, and from the looks of it, they've got access to some pretty impressive equipment. I better make some calls. Find out who's given the orders and get back to me. Getting things done and cost achievement. Cost is pretty pretty easy to get. Hey, I'm sorry, smooth operator is easy to get. Cost is like you need to be super good. Nobody can even even detect you once. Detention block D. Good thing we need, we didn't need to fight our way. Trust me, my way is fast. See, why carry him when they can walk? Why is he not walking out of here? Hang on, hang on. Gotta be one of these buttons. Okay. Siis getting interesting. Pitäisikö kirjoittaa englanniksi? Ei, ei ole tarvetta kirjoittaa englanniksi. Siis, ää, tässä streamissä on, on tota, noin, niin kuin kaksi virallista kieltä. Ää, se on vähän eikä hankalaa, mutta no joo. Eiköhän ne, jotka puhuu englantia, niin ymmärrä, ymmärrä kuitenkin sitten tärkeimmät jutut. Tällainen niin kuin normi niin miksei sitä voi suomella sitten? Juu. Koko tämä tuttu peli, Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Tänä, 
this looks like a... Um, like... Uh, not that grenade. Can I actually pick this up? Enter combat. Okay, so it only like... So it, it was like two... Activate self-destruct. Okay, now it's blowing up. So I need to throw two, two EMP grenades so it, it's going to like go down. Plain... Opportunistic. Problem solved. Yeah, some reason. Footsteps. Who's there? Okay, now that guy heard. So I need to take the uh, uh, silencing option as well. So I should go basically the mer mercenary leader so I should go down here and one floor down well, several floors down but seems like this is a full uh, base so that guy is watching this way I hope that, that that's enough. Yeah, it's enough. Tällä hetkellä on pa pasivisti playthrough menossa, eli, eli niin kuin yritetään välttää tappioita. At scene time. And all, of course, they are always getting a drop on Adam Jensen in the cutscenes. I wonder what's in the bag. Like how how did that big cyborg can sneak? Yeah. Ouch. Well, looky here. We got us a boy scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Barry. Oh, that's gonna be a pleasure. Machine gun guy. Boss fight time! Because... Thing is...
Ouch. Oh. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> Adam Jameson can't take much of damage. And this is a bit uh, clunky. Not really fluent control system I have here. But we'll manage. Some curses, but yeah, that was that was a handful. Not really, really fluent, at least with this controller. Don't and die yeah. on me yet. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, Adam Jensen, the one who exactly. called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA gives a rat's ass about some rinky-dink biotech corporation's company? Secrets. <clears throat> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? Get to Shanghai. Hang shot court gardens. <clears throat> Penthouse. Tell him. <clears throat> Tell him. Yeah, okay. Tell He's him Barrett dead. sent you straight to hell! Jensen, what's going on down there? 
Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> you ready to get out of here, Jensen? Yeah. Take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on! Don't park your helicopter in a bad neighborhood or something. Currently we are playing modded game, that means that there's <coughs> like, for example, this the yellow hue, that's that's actually modded to this director's cut. Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I'd love to, Francis. But I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? Uh. I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. Better than you. You told Sarah. See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created oh. it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Oh, no. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Oh, no. Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> this is your first day back since the Accident six months ago, isn't it? Yeah, quite a Sir, first day, actually. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. 
But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. One, one thing occurred to me. I, I think this, uh, these idol animations haven't been... Uh, they haven't been like... Uh, they have been animated uh, with, with old fashioned style. Not, not used any kind of mocap caption cap. Of course, you need to clean up the mocap after after the fact. But uh, these things, these are so janky that I, I believe that the, these are actually that the modeler has to has to just animate. Huh? And this was pretty expensive game, so that's that's a surprise. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you, Doctor Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. Friend. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy dependency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Ah. Oh. So Taggart actually did something good for Thea, once. You've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age, Adam. No. But I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us. Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind. Uh -huh. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? And sure, shareholders I've been here probably. Since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Let's meet, meet Sarif. Uh, I think that's that's some famous painting. I don't remember what 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 is it, is it called? Actually, boss, we need to talk. Okay, <laughs> can you use wrong? them? I'm not sure. Uh, argumentations against him. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Like <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Ah, oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important.
You went behind my back on this one, boss. With all due respect, you hired me to keep this place secure. But I can't do that if you are not 100% straight with me. Why are you getting so defensive? We're pushing boss. That all I'm almost saying never is we works. should be looking forward, Adam, not back. Not telling you about that portal left us open to attack, fine. But to be fair, it was your job to find our weaknesses and protect us from them. I need troops I can rely on, and I thought you were one of them. I hired you. I trusted you. When a lot of other people said I shouldn't. You know, Frank wanted me to hire a private military outfit like Bell Tower Associates. Maybe I should have. Whoa, don't get me wrong, boss. I'm not questioning your leadership. I'm just concerned that the data you streamed might have been compromised, accessed by the hacker who attacked us. If so, how do you suggest I handle it? By focusing on what matters right now, instead of dwelling on my past mistakes. Everything I've done has been to secure a future for you, me, right. Frank, <laughs> and everyone else in this team. I'm constantly looking for strong people to help me do that. The very best people I can find. Oh, this happens because if I don't, Seraph Industries will fall. Megan understood that. That's why she insisted I hire you in the first place. Yeah, definitely Alpha. Yeah, he's, he's Alpha. Boss, I really don't understand why you're giving me the runaround. When you hired me, I said I'd give you the best I could, but I can't protect us if you keep hamstringing my every move. If you won't level with me and tell me what it is you're hiding, then I'm out of here. I quit. Adam, 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 wait. You can't leave us. Okay, we that need cuts you. his attention. Now more than ever. All right. Look, the truth is. I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. Is this truth? You what? I don't, I don't really know. I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. So what's in the data? When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Does a sub subject know that neither his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile, according to the old medical records I dug up, but his dad carries no common phenotypes either. See yourself, mother, Margie, Caucasian, Arthur Jensen, Caucasian. Confidential. White Helix Labs. Arthur relied on the insurance for his wife's medication. She was at antidepressant since 14. One minute Adam doesn't exist and then Jensen's have them some sponsoring and healthy five year old. That's when they pull vanishing act. Where's a life purchase orders? Well, of course. Denzel Mitchell. 
Sorry, Adam, I can't help you right now. I'm trying to deal with the fallout from the Taggart meeting. Yeah, I was hoping that you would enlighten me. But I'll speak to the man. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. So is he, is he sending us away to cover cover something up? Because he was like, no, it's not FEMA. Well, of course, we, we have been playing the other Deus Ex games. We kind of know where this is going. But, yeah. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're going to love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city. And most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I, I, I think I have done everything. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Interesting hey, town. Is coming, half the space. Hang on, we're going in. <laughs> yeah. Upper town that ha hangs Hangshaw over to lower town. town. Hangshaw Court Gardens. Of course, of we are get, going get to get district. get only in a lower part. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. All right. You know. This is actually good, good uh, time to time to end the broadcast. So definitely, Detroit took took more time than, than I thought, but we got experience points, and it was painful to sneak in FEMA facility uh, in, the, in this this level or difficulty level. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we are going to continue this Deus Ex. It's it's progressing pretty pretty smoothly. This is not a terribly long game after all. And after in the start of the next month, um, next Tuesday, we, we may be able to check the Redfall. 
it's going to X Xbox Xbox uh, Game Pass. New game. It's, the, it's still going, going to the Xbox uh, Game Pass. So we are going to definitely t try this t that, that, that out and, and perhaps play a bit, bit, bit longer because yeah, uh, there's lots of questions about that game and we just need to check, check it out. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you watch this on YouTube, please subscribe and like because otherwise the algorithms kind of forget that small content creators like me exist. Anyway, leave a comment. Uh, YouTube is a pretty good place for that. And I'll, I'll, I'll get you back. So far we have like several video, uh, game uh, playthroughs uh, on, on my channel. Uh, Yakutsa Kivami is going progressing. That's all YouTube only series. And there's, there's uh, like shorter versions of my previous streams. Which are maybe maybe a bit easier to watch. No, at least take a take a less less time. Eli, kiitos katsomisesta. Uh, Red Folia kokeillaan ensi viikolla. Ehkä jopa tiistaina, jos se on, jos on avautunut. Siitä on kyviä kysymyksiä. Pelataan vähän pidempään sitä, jos mahdollista, jos ei se ole aivan hirveä. Uh, ja muistakaa niin tykätä, ja, tykätä ja kommentoida YouTubeen ehkä mielellään, jos, jos niin kuin on niin kuin asiaa tai ehdotuksia. Mitä, mitä voisi pelata. Siellä on useampi pelisarja menossa, Jakutsa Kivami on tällä hetkellä menossa. Jakutsa Kivami 2 on itse asiassa työn on. Se tulee jossain vaiheessa ulos. Mutta katsotaan, tässä näin on taas ilmeisesti on useita pelejä ja kivasti nyt on ollut sellainen trendi, että oma Xbox äh, Game Passin kautta pääsee kokeilemaan tätä uusia pelejä. Joten sanon hyvää yötä täältä näin. Kiitos katsomisesta. Pitäkää itsenne ihmisnä tai jos olette avaruusvaltoja, niin sitä avaruusvaltoja.